and welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day. It's Thursday, the 6th of July, 2023. Max Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, here to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, overnight we saw US markets move slightly lower, but they did pair their early losses subsequent to the FOMC minutes. And despite the fact that there was no new news in those minutes, um, we had pre market jitters in the European session on further misses in PMI data uh, throughout the day. Jobs data, the highlight in the US over the next two days, we've got ADP and weekly jobs today. We've got non farm payrolls tomorrow. And US earnings season starts next week. That's worth bearing in mind. Maybe a bit of caution prior to that. US futures are mildly lower in Asian session. Asian markets are not responding well to that weak US lead. After a weekday yesterday, the ASX is down 1%. European futures also pointing to a cautious open and the VIX has risen slightly from those lows that were last hit three years ago. US dollar index edged higher overnight on treasury yields move higher and it is neutral in Asia so far. It did move up initially, but it's just pulled back a little bit. Gold edges lower, trading around 1920. Copper also lower yesterday. Oil was the exception. The commodity space moved slightly higher and it has moved towards the top of the range. Bitcoin remained in a short term range under that 31,000 resistance, which it tested last week. And US jobs, the headline today, Australian trade balance, Eurozone retail sales, German factory orders and US services PMI are also due throughout the day. A couple of charts that caught our eye. I'm going to start with Infomedia, who are having a good day. And uh, you can see this move up through a previous resistance at around about this 162 level. We're up at 164 today. We'll just take this back just to get context of this. And you can see this is high. It's not hit since June last year. So 12 month highs on this stock. It really needs to breach this 175 for us to get excited about it. And then we could see it move up towards this 174 level, which would be a relatively healthy in this market, 6.2%. We're looking at the GB pound Canadian dollar as our FX chart for today. And you can see there that we have moved up towards this 169 level in today's trading. We've had one touch of 168.80. Looks as though we're about to tackle it again. So uh, should we breach it and this 168.85, we see a potential move if we look at a longer term chart up towards this 169.25 level. So perhaps a move up of around about 40 pips in the first instance. However, with all the data that's due, we really want this to move soon as later on in the session, it may be prudent to reduce positions in Forex prior to that data coming out of the US tonight. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.